look at that. Beautifully individually wrapped books. They know they know how to keep this set nice. Hey guys, Joel here, back to the word today with an unboxing of Bovink's Reformed Dogmatics four volumes deluxe edition published by Baker Academic in November 2023. I got my hands on these volumes and I wanted to unbox them for all of you. I don't often do these types of unboxing videos, but when I do, it's a special product. And so let's get right into the box and I'll tell you some about this edition and why I picked it up as we're going. So first, I ordered this from Reformation Heritage Books. They had the best deal at the time, 40 or so percent off. So this set retails for right around 300. I got it for 172. It came in this box and obviously inside this box is another box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here and show you guys from there. So. It did come with straps on it, so that was pretty nice. Really secure. Uh, you see there on the outside the uh, label Reform Dogmatics Deluxe Edition, four volumes, Herman Bovink, Baker Academic. So, right there. So, let's go ahead and open these up for you guys. All right, so. Open the box. There we go. We have this nice protective sheet here of cardboard. And we have yet again a box inside of another box. Uh, they wanted to keep this set nice. So we got this. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. As a book lover, I can really get behind people protecting this set. So, uh, this set that we're going to see is the Deluxe Edition with imitation leather, uh, I believe, according to this. Yes, a luxurious uh, imitation leather cover. This set um, was originally published, these four volumes, in hardback edition by Baker Academic in 2008. So both this set and the hardback edition have uh, 3,024 pages over four volumes. Ooh, look at that. Beautifully individually wrapped books. They know... They know how to keep this set nice. All right, let's just get in there. Get it. Look at that beauty. Beauty right there. Reformed Dogmatics Deluxe Edition. You can see from the outside, you can see Baker Academic logo, these uh, raised ribs spine um, features custom foil stamped spines and covers so the front says h bovink for herman bovink i also say classic hubbed spines um, and then they have smith sewn binding on the inside of the edition so just really beautiful right there so let's go ahead and get one of these out of here let's go for uh Trying to be really careful here. So here's volume four. Look at this. So pretty. Wow. Beautiful. So, and then these other volumes right here. So you see there, uh, four volumes, Herman Bob Inc. Uh, John Bolt as the editor, and then John Rind as the translator, and H. Bob Inc. And then on the back, some of the uh, recommendations, the master work, um, and then the listing. So volume one's Prolegomena, uh, volume two, God and Creation, volume three, Sin and Salvation in Christ, volume four, Holy Spirit, Church, and New Creation. So, And so here we have Prolegomena, volume one. So let's go ahead and get into 
this guy and check it out. Trying to be very careful here as I open it and don't want to slice any of the pages. Very dangerous right now. I didn't pre unwrap this as some people do sometimes for unboxing videos. So this is my first time seeing it as well. So beautiful. Really like this set. So as I was saying earlier, the hardback edition is a really great option. And so if you're looking for the hardback edition online, um, oh boy, getting inside of this, um, you can find it. Uh, the cheapest I found is a Reformation Heritage Books had it for around 134. You could get the hardbacks of all of these four volumes, but for adding 30 to 40 dollars and getting it for 172, the the this edition, since I didn't already own Bob Inks Reformed Dogmatics and knew I wanted it, this is a masterful set. So let me go ahead and get into this. So we have these printed, custom design printed in sheets. And then it has elegant ivory paper. So it has nicer paper than the hardback editions uh, with an eggshell finish. So we have here, I'll put that over there. Um, so you have these custom in sheets, this imitation leather. It feels super nice. This is really marketed as a version for book lovers. So this wonderful picture of Herman Bobbing. Um, for those who uh, have the hardback edition, I would love to know if the page numbers all match. I believe they do from the research that I've seen in lines, online. So go ahead and comment below the video. Do the page numbers match? Um, maybe even give me the page number of your favorite quotes. I would love to do that. Um, so you see they're published 2003 by the Dutch Reformed Translation Society, published by Baker Academic Deluxe Edition, published in 2023 printed in China, 2023 first edition. I believe a Baker Academic is only gonna have this deluxe edition while it's in stock, like it's only one print run. And so you, if you want it, you better go get it. Uh, I necessarily am not sure I would have bought it if I already owned for the four volumes in the hardback edition. Um, the 170 some bucks is a lot of money to spend on books. Um, but I had already done the math. I'd already looked and seen that um, the cheapest you could get the hardback copies from Reformation Heritage Books for, for new was 134. Uh, most sets even used are selling for 130 plus online. If you go the digital version and you want to buy it with Logos, um, look at this beautiful printing. It's still $200. So it's not even a book set that you can buy in it's cost even just as much or more to get it digitally as it does to get it um, the physical editions. And so I just thought, wow, add 30 or $40 to the cheapest I can get it for the hardback. And I have this deluxe edition. And so just so beautiful. Um, I, for those who don't know what Reform Dogmatics is all about, uh, what, what all the hype is about. Uh, Herman Bovink, as I understand it, and done research and will read this over time and, and get to know for myself, is a uh, Calvinist Dutch uh, Reformed theologian. Um, he actually followed Abraham Kuyper's position, uh, was replaced him after he uh, at a certain point in his career. And so they were really pushing forward um, neo-Calvinism. So he's a Calvinistic um, theologian. And uh, this is really a work of systematic theology and historical theology. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another one of the volumes while I'm talking, uh, just so you can see it. So this is God and Creation, Volume 2. And so it's really a work of historical, but also systematic theology. And so he's going through all of these areas of theology. Ooh, that was that was close there. Don't want to don't want to actually clip or catch any of the pages with the scissors. And uh, so what's attractive about Reformed Dogmatics is that he's very, very thorough and he's going through all these areas of theology, but he's also showing not just the biblical evidence because he starts there, but he also goes on to show 
the um, inner engages with the what we would call the patristics now, the early church fathers and writers, and he goes through the medieval period and into the reformed faith, and he shows what the reformed theologians. Um, the Reformed Church believes about different areas of doctrine, which is really helpful for people. And then he actually engages different philosophical and other arguments from a polemical type of defense of the Christian faith throughout. And so it's really great treatment. So um, that's good. He's pictures in the front of each of the volumes. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case or not. So this is covering knowing God. So uh volume two, God and creation. And so um, just really interesting. So that's why a lot of people read these editions. A lot of people find them helpful. It is difficult to read. Uh, some people have mentioned that you will have to stretch yourself to be able to read it. And so for some people, this might not be the best option, all four of these volumes. And so there are other options for those who would like to read Bob Inc. or hear some of his and learn from his theology. And so most notably that these four volumes have been abridged and published by Baker Academic. That version came out in 2011. And so you can get that edition. It's like 800 and some pages I have over here written down. 864 pages. So it's the, all four of these volumes abridged in one volume. And then they also, I would encourage you to do this, Westminster Seminary Press in 2019 published Bob Inc.'s The Wonderful Works of God, which is really his distillation of his Reformed dogmatics into a book for the shelves of families and church members. And so that book is 695 pages long. And so it's really good. So this volume three, Sin and Salvation in Christ. Same treatment, I believe. Yes, he's at the front. Just look at these beautiful. The paper feels so good. This is definitely a good, high quality deluxe edition. I was really on the fence about this. And I think what put me over the edge for this edition is that I didn't already own the hardback edition. I knew that I wanted to read through all four volumes and not just a wonderful works of God or um, the abridgment, I wanted to read through all four volumes at some point during my lifetime. And the other thing I wanted to do um, is what threw me over the edge was probably the Smithsonian binding. Uh, just having a really good binding option. I have some thicker hardback editions from Pi uh, Baker Academic, and they're starting to separate in different places depending on how you read them. They get stressed. I'm trying to make sure I open this correctly without marking up the pages. And I just knew the Smithstone binding would hold up longer. And I knew that I, and when I saw the money was so close and investment wise, I was like, well, why not add 30 or $40 and get the deluxe edition? So this is a great idea for those out there. Um, I'm not sure if it's for everyone, but I think for the people who really love it, we'll use it will enjoy it, or for me, don't already have it and know they want it. This is the time to buy, in my opinion. So this Holy Spirit Church and New Creation Volume 4. So such a great set right there. Wow, just so beautiful. Just can't wait to get into this and read it. So with that, I'm going to do a video on my channel uh, pretty soon about why read Herman Bovink's Reformed Dogmatics. I think that's just a video I want to do for myself to do some research, but also share with all of you. And then as I make my way through these in the future and slowly set up a reading plan and some other things, I'll definitely share with all of you as well. Just look at this beautiful set edition. Something that I do look for when it types this set, this type of set is the care that they put into. Uh, notice how these all line up. So the, the spines all line up. These line up for the most, yes they do for the most part. These are all at the same level. Sometimes there's different series and different things where they don't, but they have done their work here. Beautiful editions. Super thankful that they I got them. So with that, what are your thoughts in the comments? I would love to know. Do you already have the hardback edition? If you do, would you buy the deluxe edition or have you bought the deluxe edition? Uh, two, 
Do the page numbers match? Would love for you guys to let me know. Um, let me just turn over here. I mean, here's um, the witness of the New Testament on page 394. I'm going to go online and do my own checks to see whether they match up as well. But would love for you to compare any of those things. Let me know in the comments. Let me also know your favorite Bavink quotes in the description below. And I'll be sharing with you guys more in the future. So with that, until next time, continue to read, treasure, follow the word, subscribe, like, all those things. And until next time, God bless, and I'll see you guys soon.